So we found a parking space here in Philadelphia. We're gonna go eat two different cheesesteaks, maybe three. But try printing, uh, try parking a 170 Sprinter on this crazy road. <laughs> it was tough, but we did it. So you literally got to back in, back in. There's barely any room, but now we got a spot. Let's go eat cheesesteak. So we are headed to go eat cheesesteak with a bunch of friends here in Philly. We got the spot for the Sprinter, and so. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna go eat some cheesesteak. So we're gonna eat Pat's first. We're gonna try, try Pat's cheesesteak first. I think this is the one where you have to say wit whiz or something like that. We'll see what, what we have to do, but pretty excited. Gino's is that way. Cash is right here. They're right across the street from each other. Okay. So I just found out it's cash only. So let's if you want your cheesesteak with or without onions. Specify if you want plain cheese whiz, provolone, American pizza. Take a cheesesteak with onions and whip whiz. So that's what you got. That looks really good. I made it. To go? Yeah, to go. Next. Thank you. Next. So this is wit onions, wit whiz. Mm -hmm, I want to buy it. Mm, bread's real soft. I want it. That's yeah, pretty good. Try it, babe. Hey, dude, this bread's tough. All right. So we were over at Pat's before, tried that cheesesteak, wit whiz, wit onions. Now we're at Gino's. We're going to try this and see how it is. So this is the Gino's cheesesteak. Looks much neater. It's like thicker meat. Oh, the fries are soft. <laughs> that one's really good. The bread. Really soft, lots of thick meat. We're here with my family. They all agree this one's better. So we're gonna get another one. So we actually found another cheesesteak place called Oregon Cheesesteaks. But as we're parking the Sprinter, they got uh, fireworks going on in back. So my son here, Diego, is a Fourth of July baby. So. It's kind of fitting, we got the fireworks going on. So he thought we were back at the hotel, but I told him, no, oh, we're on a cheesesteak run. Oregon cheesesteaks. So this is my good buddy G right here. G, what you think of the uh, cheesesteaks so far? Oh, uh, Gino's been pretty good. We'll see, uh, Pat's a little bit disappointed. We'll see what the Oregon steaks make. So we did Pat's, we did Gino's, we're doing Oregon now. I don't know which other ones are. Gyms. Is it open 24 7? Awesome. Okay, well, next we'll do gyms. I'll take a cheesesteak with Wiz. 
Luke, so is Tony Luke's open late too? Yeah. As you put the first, they ran out of water. Okay. So this is Oregon State. This is waste. You want to be adventurous? Tomorrow morning, go to Scrapple for breakfast. Scrapple? Don't ask. Scrapple for breakfast. All right, we gotta look it up. Hey, thanks a lot. That's so cool. People were so nice here. All right, so this one looks pretty greasy. So we're at Tony Luke's this morning uh, to continue the cheesesteak run, and they actually have parking uh, here. It's underneath the bridge, so they've got parking here. He said, Sprinter, 170, you can fit here. Some of the people told us that they run out of bread earlier, so that tells us bread might be pretty good. So we'll check it out. So I'll take a uh, cheesesteak uh, with provolone. Shark from Iowa. Uh, shark from You want fried onion? Yes. No. So last night we were told to try scrapple. So if we were gonna be eating breakfast to try scrapple. So I didn't notice on their menu here at Tony Luke's they have scrapple, so we'll get back to it. Um, so y'all sell scrapple fries. Right? Yeah. Take a scrapple yeah. in All right, so this is the Tony Luke's cheese steak, shark provolone, fried onions, jalapenos on the side for my wife. See how this is. Get it open. Tony Luke's scrapple with egg. It almost looks like a. It looked like sausage, but it's thin and it's crusty. Oh man. Well, that's their same bun, it looks like. Oh man. What is it? Tastes like pork. I have no idea what this is. What this is? Crusty, crunchy. Gotta come to Philly to get the scrap. What do you think, G? That is okay. Breakfast sandwich, more like a curly sandwich. But the, the cheese steaks, man, it was good. Cheese steaks are it, huh? I still think G knows, but. So we're at Jim's, uh, another cheesesteak place. But on here, we had to park on the streets. So we had to actually use a meter. So it's about $5 to park uh, for two hours. So we'll probably eat and then maybe walk around a little while. This is the fifth cheesesteak place in the past two days. So I'm kind of full, I need to walk it off. But 170 wheel base sprinter, parked on the side. Looks like there's still plenty of room. So we're here for the next spot, Jim's. This is the fifth place on our cheesesteak crawl. So, what do you think, Diego? It's cool. It's really nice. You still hungry? Uh, it's weird. All right, let's go eat. So we're at Jim's. What you think, G? It smells really good. What are you gonna get? Please, probably just get a cheesesteak with and try it. I think I'm gonna double the uh, provolone cheese. Double provolone. I want it cheesy. We'll see what happens. It smells good. Grilled onion stuff. We'll see what happens. Uh, cheesesteak, wet onions, uh, the provolone. So he 
got, I got with provolone. G got with Wiz. I gotta admit, I saw his with Wiz and I was like, oh no, I should've got that. Look at the onions, look how big the onions are. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's with Wiz. What do you think, Diego? Jim's is the truth. This one's really good. Very, very good. The bread is soft. This toast is right. The flavor of the beef. The wings on top of the big onions. So we found another cheesesteak place. G actually found it. So we're gonna check it out. It's Woodrow Sandwich Shop. Uh, looks like there might be a line on the inside. Kind of small, but we had to, it's, it's about a six minute walk from uh, Jim's. So we'll go check it out. This is the little Woodrow's with onions with whiz. Oh, truffle fries. Truffle Whiz. Okay, homemade truffle Whiz. Sandwich is great. Homemade fries. The truffle Whiz? Good, babe. I think the, the truffle whiz makes a big difference. The bread is warm and soft. Um, lightly toasted, which is good. And it's a little soft where you don't get crunched. There's a slight crunch. I think really good. So apparently it's the truffle whiz that kind of makes it. Um, it's really, really good. I was, I was really surprised. It's a small shot. Didn't have a huge line, but it's really good. So tell me, we've been going different places, and the cheese whiz here is different. What is what is it about the cheese whiz that makes yeah, it different? We made in the house, so we put the American cheese, truffle, um, oil. So it's not just a it's, it's not, not just a regular cheese no, whiz. No, it's not just the regular. Man, I was totally surprised. That that was really really good. Thank you. Man, thanks a lot. All right, total surprise. That place was awesome. I thought we had found our best cheesesteak at the last place, Jim's. But uh, that place is awesome. The truffle cheese whiz and the way the, the guy uh, described it makes total sense. It, it had a different flavor. My wife, she downed that cheesesteak so fast compared to every other place. So definitely worth it. Glad we took G's recommendation. He was scouting out where to go next. And we were gonna go to another one of the two that were the chains, but this uh, this was worth it. So, Woodrow Sandwich Shop. 